Ever wondered how the wild mushrooms that spice up your meals are harvested? Welcome to a captivating journey into the world of wild mushrooms. These humble fungi, often hidden under the leafy carpet of the forest, hold a world of fascination and culinary potential. There's a vast variety to marvel at, from the enchanting chanterelle with its golden hues and fruity aroma, the morel with its distinctive honeycomb appearance, to the coveted truffle, the diamond of the culinary world. Each mushroom has its own unique flavor profile and texture, making them a beloved ingredient in kitchens across the globe. But it's not only about their gastronomic value. Wild mushrooms play a crucial role in our ecosystems, helping decompose organic matter and nourishing the soil. Their intricate network of mycelium, often referred to as nature's internet, is a testament to their importance in maintaining biodiversity. So, are you ready to delve deeper into this fascinating fungi kingdom? Let's dive into the amazing world of mushroom harvesting. Harvesting wild mushrooms is a delicate process that requires knowledge and skill. It's not merely about plucking fungi from the ground. It's about understanding the ecosystem, respecting the life cycle of the mushrooms, and ensuring their sustainability for future harvests. First, let's talk about identification. Not all wild mushrooms are safe to eat. Some are highly toxic and can be harmful if ingested. It's crucial to get to know the mushrooms in your region and be able to identify which ones are edible. Use a field guide, join local mycology groups, or seek advice from experienced foragers. Remember, if in doubt, don't risk it. Next, let's discuss timing. The best time to harvest wild mushrooms is during the rainy season when the ground is moist. Mushrooms are essentially the fruit of fungi, and like all fruits, they have a ripening period. Harvesting at the right time ensures the best flavor and texture. The actual picking of mushrooms is a delicate task. You don't want to damage the mycelium, the underground network that produces the mushrooms. Instead of yanking the mushroom out, twist gently at the base or use a knife to cut it off. This leaves the mycelium undisturbed, allowing it to produce more mushrooms in the future. Once harvested, handle your mushrooms with care. Use a basket or a mesh bag for transport to allow spores to disperse as you walk, aiding in the propagation of future mushrooms. Cleaning is the final part of the process. Brush off any dirt or debris gently. Avoid washing the mushrooms until you're ready to use them, as water can make them soggy and speed up spoilage. With these steps, you can safely harvest wild mushrooms, but remember, always be sure of what you're picking. And remember the golden rule of foraging, leave some behind for the wildlife and for future growth. Happy mushroom hunting. From the wild foraging of mushrooms, let's transition to the structured world of farm life. The symphony of the farm is a well-orchestrated one, with each animal playing a significant role in the grand scheme of agriculture. Consider the humble cow, a producer of milk, an essential ingredient in countless meals or the hard-working chickens, whose eggs are a staple in kitchens around the world. And let's not forget our woolly friends, the sheep, providing us with warm clothing for those chilly winter months. Farm animals are the unsung heroes of agriculture. They contribute to our daily lives in ways we often take for granted. From the food we eat to the clothes we wear, and even the fertilizers that nourish our crops, these animals are integral to our existence. Taking care of farm animals is as important as harvesting crops. They are not just part of the farm. They are the heartbeat that keeps it alive and thriving. Raising farm animals is no easy task. It requires dedication, time, and a lot of love. Feeding is the first and one of the most important aspects of caring for farm animals. It's not just about piling up food and letting them eat. You need to provide a balanced diet that meets the nutritional needs of each animal. Cows, for example, need a mix of pasture, hay, and grain. Chickens thrive on a combination of grains, proteins, and greens. Pigs like a diverse diet, including fruits, vegetables, and grains. It's crucial to research and understand the dietary needs of each animal species in your care. Next comes grooming. Yes, farm animals need grooming too. It's not about making them look good for a beauty pageant, but maintaining their overall health. Regular grooming helps prevent parasites like ticks and fleas, keeps their skin and fur healthy, and allows you to spot any potential health issues early. For instance, brushing a horse helps keep its coat healthy 
and gives you a chance to check for injuries or skin conditions. Providing medical care is another vital aspect of raising farm animals. Regular health checks are essential to detect any signs of illness or injury. This includes checking their body condition, eyes, nose, teeth, and hooves or feet. Vaccinations and worming treatments are also part of routine health care. And remember, if an animal is sick or injured, don't try to play veterinarian. Always consult a professional. Ensuring the overall well-being of your farm animals goes beyond just feeding, grooming, and medical care. It's about providing a comfortable and safe living environment. This means making sure they have enough space to move around, clean and dry bedding, and protection from harsh weather. It also means ensuring they have access to clean water at all times. And let's not forget about social interaction. Farm animals are social creatures. They need companionship, whether it's from their own species or from you. Spending time with your animals not only strengthens your bond with them, but also helps you better understand their behavior and needs. Raising farm animals also requires a lot of patience and a willingness to learn. Each animal is unique with its own personality and needs. It's a fulfilling endeavor, but it's not a one-size-fits-all kind of job. You have to be willing to adapt and learn as you go. By following these steps, you can ensure your farm animals live a healthy and productive life. And remember, the care you give to your animals will ultimately reflect in the quality of the products they produce, whether it's milk, eggs, or meat. So, take care of your animals, and they will take care of you. We've journeyed from the quiet forest picking wild mushrooms to the bustling farm, caring for our animals. We've discovered the allure of wild mushrooms, their unique flavors, and their significant health benefits. We've learned the careful process of harvesting these delicate gifts of nature and the meticulous steps to ensure their safe consumption. Our journey then took us to the farm, where we explored the art of animal husbandry. We've seen the reciprocal relationship between us and our farm animals. We provide them shelter, care, and nourishment. In return, they offer us sustenance, companionship, and a connection to the natural world. Whether it's the serene act of mushroom foraging or the nurturing responsibility of farm life, both activities provide us with a sense of purpose, a connection to our environment, and a deeper appreciation for the food on our tables. From forest to farm, it's all a part of the amazing circle of life. We've learned a lot today, haven't we? It's been a fascinating journey, from the deep, whispering woods where we discovered the secrets of wild mushroom harvesting, to the bustling, heartwarming farm where we delved into the art of taking care of animals. You might be thinking, could I do this? Could I tread into the forest, basket in hand, and return with a bounty of wild mushrooms? Or perhaps could I turn my attention to the farm, nurturing and caring for animals with patience and devotion? Absolutely, you can. There's a world of nature waiting to be explored, and you're perfectly capable of doing so. But do remember, it's essential to prioritize safety. In the forest, only pick mushrooms you're absolutely certain are safe. If you're unsure, leave it be. It's better to miss out on a mushroom than to risk your health. When it comes to farm animals, treat them with respect and kindness. They are living beings, just like us, deserving of care and compassion. Now, I'm curious to hear about your experiences. Have you ever harvested wild mushrooms? Or perhaps you've spent time on a farm taking care of animals. What was it like? What did you learn? What were the challenges and what were the rewards? I invite you to share your thoughts and experiences in the comment section. We all have a lot to learn from each other and your insights could be just what someone else needs to hear. In the end, it's all about embracing the beauty of nature, whether it's the quiet rustle of leaves as you search for mushrooms or the soft nuzzle of a farm animal trusting in your care, there's always something wonderful to discover. Remember, whether it's in the wild or on the farm, nature always has something beautiful to offer. Until next time, stay safe and keep exploring.